People who think that the World Trade Center was demolished with pre-planted explosives sometimes point to flashes of light that you can see in some videos of the collapses. They say that these flashes are evidence of explosives going off. This NBC video of the South Tower collapse is perhaps the best example of this. You see one flash here near the corner of the building, then another larger flash on the left side here. Both of these flashes exist for only one frame, so they lasted for less than a thirtieth of a second, so we know there are not something like a puff of smoke. But as we continue through, we see a whole load more of these flashes, including a bunch of them over on the left side that flash in mid-air, so they're clearly not attached to the building. I suppose if you're being imaginative, you'd say these mid-air flashes are explosives going off late, but a much simpler explanation has been given numerous times over the years, that these flashes, all of these flashes, are just the sun reflected off falling pieces of window glass. The flashes do occur ahead of the main collapse wave, but there's falling debris below them, so it's quite possible there are pieces of glass spinning around as they fall that just happen to reflect the sunlight into the camera. A big confirmation of this is that you don't see the same flashes in different videos, as the angles are different. But would a piece of glass really give this bright of a flash? I decided to do some experiments to find out. First of all, I just tried tossing a glass slide up into the sunlight. This showed that you could get glass that was invisible one frame and then visible the next, but I didn't really get a good flash as the sun was setting. The next day I tried it in full sunlight from a longer distance. I didn't really get any good flashes, as with a single piece of glass it was very unlikely to randomly line up with the camera. You'd need hundreds of falling pieces of glass to increase your odds, like in the World Trade Center collapses. So to simulate this I got a larger piece of glass, then spanned and aimed it by hand to simulate it spinning as it fell, and being one of the random pieces that happened to line up with the sun. This gave some incredibly bright flashes of light, much bigger than the World Trade Center video. So I went a bit further away. The piece of glass got harder to see, but there was still a huge bright white flash. The flash only lasted a single frame if I spun it fast enough. Finally, I went even further away. The glass was nearly unnoticeable unless I lined up with the camera, and when it lined up perfectly, there was again a huge bright flash, sometimes just for a single frame. So you can take this experiment and scale it up to the World Trade Center video with the camera a mile or so away, with lower resolution video and with thousands of pieces of falling glass occasionally happening to line up. The glass is now totally invisible, but the flash is still big enough to be seen. Of course, this does not prove that all of the flashes were not explosives, and it certainly does not prove anything about why the towers collapsed. But it does demonstrate that there's a quite plausible explanation for those flashes that does not involve explosives. Hi, I'm Mick West, and if you liked that video, you might also like my book, Escaping the Rabbit Hole, How to Debunk Conspiracy Theories Using Facts, Logic, and Respect. Escaping the Rabbit Hole is a guide to helping friends, family, and loved ones who have been sucked into conspiracy theories like 9-11 or chemtrails. I explain why people fall for these theories and how you can understand them and how you can help them. It's available in hardcover, ebook, and audiobook. Check it out.